Ollie Bell here from Future Fit Training and today I'm joined by Suk Sidhu um, from onlinefitnessbusiness.com and today we wanted to bring you guys a short interview that's going to explain a little bit about Suk and who he is if you haven't seen him. I'll introduce Future Fit for those of you that don't know us and then we'll, uh, we'll get into some questions about one, why we're here today and two, what our plans are for, for the future and the start of a, a new partnership. So. Uh, Let's start off, Suk. Do you want to explain a little bit to the guys about who you are, where you come from, a bit about your story? Yeah, sure. So I own a company called OnlineFitnessBusiness.com right now, and we're helping personal trainers, nutrition coaches work with clients online for a few different reasons. Career fulfillment, um, happiness, earning more money, and helping more people. My background is I've been in the fitness industry for nearly 12 years, so a long time. And I've progressed through logical routes so personal trainer working out of wherever i could back of my car clients houses anywhere i could find clients um, i opened a gym opened another gym started realizing that it maybe wasn't for me but at the time it was the only logical route for mm. somebody who was ambitious uh, i wanted to progress in the industry i started working with a few clients online went really well i made a lot of mistakes but for the most part it went really well um, and then just saw my future in that. Eventually a lot of trainers, coaches started asking me how they could do it. Uh, and that's how onlinefitnessbusiness.com was, was born. And since then we've grown from strength to strength and helping personal trainers and nutrition coaches and everything in between do some amazing things. Amazing mate. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know us, Future Fit Training, obviously we're here under the Future Fit TV banner. So we're getting into giving out more and more content and also trying to tap into the trends within the industry, which is very much why we're sat here today. Um, Future Fit, national training provider, work across all of the major counties across the UK, delivering personal training, nutrition and Pilates qualifications to equip the workforce of tomorrow. So we've got a lot of new and modern products coming out multiple award winner at the UK Active Training Awards. So we're gonna continue that growth. And one of the real things that we're passionate about at the moment is tapping into trends and making sure that we continue to innovate. Everything's changing, the fitness industry is changing, it's becoming more and more popular for people to work in and career changes to are looking at this sector as a way to build their own careers. And on that note, what would be really good to know from you, Suk, is how you've seen the fitness industry change and how you've tapped into those changes with products that are fit for the now yeah well, I think like timing is perfect right now and it's it's amazing to be working and or partnering with a company like future fit who see the the trends and and buy into the innovation and progression that we're seeing in the industry because what we've noticed on for the last few years is that whilst personal trainers and, and coaches are, are really aware of what's happening in the industry with those with kind of ear to the ground can see that more and more people are, are moving online as is happening in all industries really. Um, but some of the sectors, some of the training providers uh, have been a bit slow to, to pick, up, pick up on that. But um, it's really exciting to speak with Future Fit. Future, Future Fit have been really open to our ideas. Um, and the fact that the reality is a lot of personal trainers and a lot of coaches are looking to work with clients online now. Um, not necessarily to travel the world or, you know, make money on autopilot whilst sat on a beach, as is often sold. Yeah. Um, but just to earn a little bit more money, maybe not work, split shifts, Monday to Sunday, mm. um, and just have that security of not negative, not being negatively impacted by a client cancelling a session mm. or by wanting to go on holiday for a week. So our products or our courses alleviate those those risks or those those challenges that personal trainers face whilst giving them another way to earn money so <clears throat> excuse me a lot of the trainers that we work with are adding online training to to the services they that they offer some to just gym floor members so that they have another option to sell other than just personal training uh, and some are working with clients all over the world um and we've had really rapid growth because it, it is a, a high growth sector within mm. our industry. Um, and it, it's just great to be here and know that, you know, Future Fit paying attention and, and are, are ready to support us and partner with us on, on what we're doing. Absolutely. And I think from our point of view as well, it'd be really good to find out from your point of view, 
exactly why you think online is trending so much at the moment? What, what are you seeing from the trainers that are coming to you um, that are looking to do the courses? What, what are they trying to get out of it? What do you help them to achieve? I think big picture, fulfilment, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier. I think for personal trainers who do do well, financially, it's usually at the cost of a social life sometimes, mm -hmm. or um, not even necessarily the cost of the social life, but it comes with unsociable working hours maybe. Um, so the, the challenges that we're helping them overcome is earning money without having to work unsociable hours, mm -hmm. um, working more on, on a schedule that works for them rather than against them and showing them that success doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to mean that you know they're working every, every hour in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, so we're helping them earn more money, work with more people, find other avenues where, where, where they can deliver their services uh, in a way that doesn't trade time for money for So is it all about online, like solely online? You, you, you help trainers that are working in gyms with clients to transition and work from their laptop or? No, not necessarily. So the majority of our, the majority of the trainers that we work with stay on the gym floor, right? They continue to work with clients on the gym floor and this is just in addition to what they do. Don't get me wrong. We have some of our students who do move abroad, work from their laptop or have offices, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but the vast majority of our students are working with clients online as you know, a way to earn a little bit more money mm -hmm. that isn't, like I said, isn't affected by them going on holiday. Um, that means that they can maybe give up working 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on a Friday night, for example. So the majority of our trainers continue to help people work with people on the gym floor because they that's what they enjoy. Mm -hmm. Um, it's usually what they got into the industry to do, but this allows them to carry on doing that in a way that works for them and, and avoids them getting burnt out. Yeah. Which is, you know, something that's really One common. of the big things. Absolutely. So what would you say to someone that's, that's maybe not as in touch with the online world as, as you are and your students are after going through the course, people that are maybe looking at personal training careers as an opportunity to work with clients, but the whole social media side, the systems, the processes that sit behind it, Facebook ads, what would you say to the people who are scared of doing that? How important is it? I think you can make it as complicated as you want to, but you can also keep it as, as simple mm -hmm. as you want as well. So uh, a really great quote that we always use whenever we deliver a talk or, or a live training or whatever it may be is, if you want to impress people, make things complicated. If you want to help people, keep things simple. Mm -hmm. All of our students come from you know a, a, a wide um, range of, competence mm -hmm. should we say when it comes mm -hmm. to social media digital whatever it may be um, and the reality is just learning how to support and manage clients online is step one mm -hmm. and if you can still pick up online clients from the gym floor and social media may never be a necessity right yes still learn it and we're going to show all of our students how to use social media and digital ways to market themselves, how to sell themselves to people that they may not meet on the gym floor. But the reality is we can keep this incredibly simple and mm. still add another 10, 15, 20 online clients without getting too fancy. How important is it to you that the students that come and work with you have got a really strong technical background? Yeah, it is important, but that, that's a never ending kind of development as a personal trainer. That, yeah. That'll never stop. Um, if somebody came to us and they we're just looking for a way to make money. We just let them know very politely that they're not the right people for us because, mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, it's online training in some circles has been sold as a dream to make money without helping people. Yeah. The reality is if you want to build a great business and feel good about what you do, then you have to be able to help your clients. So having great technical knowledge when it comes to training, nutrition, or whatever your speciality is, whatever you want to help people do is really important. And then there are some other skills that you will need to be developed yeah. online that are a little bit different. And that just, that's just from a, a place of being able to manage clients, support them without necessarily having that time with them. Absolutely. So obviously speaking on behalf of FutureFit, we're huge fans of what you do. And we've sure. seen your students, we've seen the roadmaps, the case studies, the journey that these students have been on to the point where they're now set up, comfortable, um, starting to achieve some of the goals and milestones that they set themselves when they came to you. Yeah. From our point of view, we're in a fairly similar boat in that we're competing at the moment in the market with very cheap courses, diluted courses, people that aren't necessarily putting in 
to the training the things that are going to make you successful career-wise. Yeah. So we're all about the career rather than the certificate. So the synergy between the companies is there. How do you see this relationship? Because obviously there's a lot of work behind the scenes has got to this point where we've now got a very serious contract which needs to be signed at some point today. Um, how do you see the work that we do progressing into the future? What's, what's going to be next? I think without giving too much away, um, you know, we've already spoken about what, what the work we're going to do together with personal trainers, with your nutrition school. Um, but we want to go way beyond that. So future fit have their Pilates school. That's something that we could definitely, uh, help to do because the principles of marketing and selling remain the same. Mm. It's just the service delivery. So as long as we've got experts who, who know how to deliver services online and we can lean on them and they can, uh, support us and help our students then the reality is whilst personal trainers will of course always exist and there will always be clients for personal trainers there is now another logical step to take yeah and you can also deliver online and for me all personal trainers will eventually do both um so we're really excited to be aligned with future fit who who clearly believe in the same things we believe in um and can see that vision with us. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the students that you've got at the moment, have you got any success stories to share that you, you can share? Yeah, we've got a ton of success stories. Um, we're actually drowning in social proof at the minute, as I mentioned <laughs> to you good. before. Um, so we've got a ton of su su uh, success stories. I like talking about some of our first students. Um, so one of our first students was a guy called Jack, uh, who's actually helps us manage our community as well now mm -hmm. online. So Jack's a great trainer. Uh, he was working full time as an engineer for a utilities company. I can't remember which one. Mm -hmm. um, you probably couldn't say. Nicole. No, I, I don't <laughs> want to say it. Um, so he's working full time as a, a utility, as an engineer, a yeah. utilities company. Um, personal training when he could around that. And over the last twelve months, he's left his full time job, doesn't do any personal training, uh, and is just solely online now. Um, and it's allowed him to move house, he's bought a new house, he's recently been competing in some bodybuilding shows that I don't understand, mm -hmm. but um, apparently he's done really well. He's won first place at some British finals, um, which takes a lot of time, it's something he wasn't able to do yeah. uh, when he was working, so that's one of my favourite success stories, because he's kind of been with us from the beginning, yeah. progressed to a full-time online trainer, um, helping a lot of people, and he's a genuinely great coach. Mm -hmm. um, He's so good guy. you've employed him. Yeah, so good we've employed him. Um, and whenever we do have a successful student, we always get, or we always ask politely for them to do walkthroughs of exactly mm -hmm. what they've done. Because, don't get me wrong, we're very confident in how we deliver our services and how we help students, but learning from our students is just so powerful. Um, so Jack's provided walkthroughs for our students. This is how he delivers his services, how he works with clients, how he gets people results, mm -hmm. how he markets himself. He's built a great following on Instagram. So when we first, when Jack first started working with us, he had a few thousand followers on Instagram. He's now got 49,000 followers. Wow. Um, and that's not important, not necessarily important for everybody, mm -hmm. but it just goes to show that what you can do in 12 months, if it's something that you really put your mind to, even considering he was working full time for half of that journey. So which modules in the course do you think have helped and impacted on Jack's development so, and, and, and helped him be successful? So, Jack was fairly competent on social media anyway, but he was terrible at monetizing it. He couldn't sell. So a lot of personal trainers and coaches will find this with social media. Likes and comments are easy to get. Mm -hmm. Sales, not so much. Um, so that's in the first ever conversation that I had with Jack. Like I said, this is from when we first launched the course. So I actually uh, picked up the phone. I picked up Skype and spoke to him on the yeah. phone myself. Um, and I gave him one thing to do to get some clients through the door on Instagram straight away and he got five clients. So just monetizing what he was doing on social media has been really important because he was already a great coach. And that's what we'll find for a lot of the personal trainers that we work with, this, the, strong, the strength in their business is them. Mm. Mm. So they can help people, but nobody knows it, right? So they don't know how to market it, they don't know how to make people aware of it, and they don't know how to sell. So just getting into the habit of, of, of yeah. sharing, sharing a story, documenting that kind of thing? Yeah, and doing it in the right way. Yeah. Um, 
and once that happens, once you understand how to make people aware of the fact that you can help them, mm -hmm. it just becomes much easier. Um, so some people will look at the, the 49, 50,000 followers on Instagram and look for this kind of silver bullet in terms of marketing and getting rich quick or, or becoming this elite personal trainer that yeah. takes their top off, gets a few yeah. pictures, builds a following and then monetizes it and never has to work again. Mm -hmm. So that's one of many myths yeah. that come with the whole online training, even e-commerce businesses, yeah, um, passive income and all that rubbish. Um, so w what other myths would you say exist at the moment that you're trying to dispel within the industry? I think the whole silver bullet thing is a, is a huge myth. Um, it's not necessarily a myth, but it's something that a lot of people chase. Mm -hmm. So what's the one thing that's going to give me this amazing outcome? And it, the reality is it's just loads of little steps that eventually start paying bigger and bigger dividends, right? Um, so that's a big one. I think... The other, the way it's the way online training is marketed to personal trainers and coaches is it's very hypey. So people are selling the opportunity to make money easy, mm -hmm. make money quick, um, do it in a way that gives you complete locational freedom quickly. Um, the way in a way that allows you to kind of make money while you sleep, mm -hmm. which is a very a very common saying. Um, all that is. It's not necessarily nonsense, but it's not going to happen overnight. And it may not be what you want. Yeah. Right? So it may, for me, I went all in online. So I sold my gyms and decided I was, I was going to just work with clients online. I like where I live. Mm -hmm. So I stayed there. I got an office. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't the opportunity to travel the world that I wanted. I just wanted to, a great business that worked for me. Mm -hmm. um, so that whole hypey marketing is all nonsense for the most part. Um, other myths, not having to care or interact with clients. So if any if anybody's looking for a way to be a personal trainer without actually caring, online training doesn't give you that. You still have to care. You still have to be able to help people. Uh, and the minute you stop caring or the minute you, you a very common saying nowadays is, oh, I, I don't like people. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then this isn't going to help you. You still have to care. Is, well, there's still people at the end of the day, yeah, exactly. whether, whether it's in a practical setting or whether you're working with on them online yeah. you need to still understand the same components the behavior change yeah. element the nutrition getting your food right your diet right your training right and all that kind of thing and i think from our point of view as a training provider um who believe in that practical element of training you can't do it all online no. you need that practical element and you need to be able to set foot in the workplace that you're going to be in yeah. in the future so how important is it to you that people have <clears throat> the skills to actually work with someone face to face as well as online yeah well the other myth that I was going to mention is that everybody just leaves the gym and goes all in online. Uh, the reality is most of the students that we work with, like I said earlier, use online training as a way to make their work schedule on the gym floor more manageable mm -hmm. um, because that's what they love, that's what they enjoy, and it keeps them sharp. Um, working that face-to-face that -face interaction with people, um, what you learn from working with every single client in person, the things you see, yeah. um, it just better equips you to be successful online. Mm -hmm. um, people who work with clients well online uh, in person have the best online businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another huge So it's adding another string to your bow, a bit like if, if you study level three personal training and then you specialize in GP referral, yeah. you can work with clients with who have been referred by a GP, for example. Exactly. Online is just another string to your bow where you can offer additional services. Yeah. And can they be additional revenue streams? Yeah, 100%. So ultimately, what we want to help people, we want to help personal trainers, we want to help coaches, but we're thinking about the end user. We want people to use gyms more. Mm -hmm. We want people to get better results in gyms. Um, so offering online as a maybe lower barrier to entry mm -hmm. service for gym members who aren't ready to buy PT uh, is a huge win for everyone. So if somebody, as a lot of people do, joins a gym, but then they're unsure of how to use the gym, um, maybe they're a bit worried about what to do, nervous, and they're approached by a personal trainer offering personal training, mm -hmm. but they're not quite ready for that, then online is a great opportunity uh, for the person and for the trainer. Because it means that that, that individual can get support, programming, feedback, um, accountability from someone at a lower cost um, they use the gym they get better results better for the gym better for the person better yeah. for the trainer yeah 
So what would you say <coughs> to the gyms that are uh, maybe scared of online? So say a cluster of gyms, gym owner, I've got 10 gyms, I've got 15 PTs in each gym. What would you say to them? Because th there must be some perception that online is going to take those trainers out of the gym and teach them to build the business on their own, but that's not been the case. No, it's not the case at all. And we have been met with... So we've had a very mixed response from gyms. We've had some people who have that attitude, mm. um, and then we've had some really positive uh, chats as well with some gym owners. So what I would say is, if, if we arm personal trainers with the ability to earn more money, uh, enjoy their their roles more by having a work life balance or a schedule that better fits our enjoyable lifestyle. PT is going to be more fulfilled. They're going to stick around for longer. Uh, you'll know better than I how expensive it is to train and recruit personal trainers. Yeah. So for a gym owner, knowing that people are using the gym, their members are using the gym, they're getting better results. The PTs are making more money. They're happier. The work schedule works better for them. Mm -hmm. They're not leaving the industry as quickly. For me, this is a win-win for everybody. Um, and nobody can tell me any different because <laughs> I just can't see the lose. No. I, I get the, the trepidation mm -hmm. of people worrying that people, you know, trainers are going to leave the gyms, but it's just not happening. Most trainers that we work with are just improving their in-person business or their business in a way that just makes the it makes it more enjoyable. I don't think you can be scared of it in this day and age. No. It's so important now to have social media pages. It's so important to have a website. It's yeah. so important that you've got that shop window online. But it doesn't have to replace no. what you do in person. Yeah. And I think anyone that's scared of that is essentially scared of training someone to the point that they, that person could potentially leave. Tra yeah. Richard Branson's quote train someone so well they could leave at any point but treat them so well they don't yeah, want to exactly um yeah so I, I don't see i don't see how this is a negative for anyone really mm -hmm. I, I understand it from a sense of oh this is a new thing it's a threat but it won't be um i think it's a win-win for everybody so yeah gym owners when you're ready come talk to me <laughs> <laughs> um so we do have to sign the very serious contract in a minute Okay. Um, but before that, I just wanted to get your thoughts on Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Neither does anybody else. No, we're else. not talking about Brexit. No <laughs> chance. Um, final thing then. Um, for any personal trainer that either we've graduated or that's out in the industry or any of the ProZone members on our subscription service, what would you say to those guys who are maybe contemplating or who have maybe watched a bit of this interview and are inspired to kind of find out more? What would you say to them about online training and what it can do for them? Test it, try it. I think it's gonna, like I said earlier, all personal trainers will be doing both soon. Um, so get ahead of everybody else by testing it now, even if, if it's with guinea pigs, friends, how, whatever it may be, um, before you go out to the big wide world and market it mm -hmm. uh, or whatever it may be. Because just have, even if it's a handful of online clients who just add some security and remove some financial stress, allow you to go on holiday, or have a day off sick, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. it's just going to completely transform your enjoyment and fulfillment around your, your PT career, which can get difficult at times. There are peaks and troughs. We all know what burnout felt like. I've mm. experienced it as a PT and as a, as a gym owner, um, and it just alleviates it so much. So give it a try, test it, um, and if you want any more help, come and find us. Good. So in 2019, Future Fit are going to be partnering with OFB to launch a range of products. So we've got the online fitness business course, which will launch in 2019 through Future Fit. So any individual that's looking for a career in the industry can have this online track where they can learn the skills and key components behind running up and delivering programs online. We've also got online nutrition business launching. Tell us a little bit about that one. Very similar. Um, the principles remain the same. It's just there's gonna be a difference in how it's delivered. Nutrition is huge right now, and rightly so. A lot of people are, are becoming aware of the fact that it's a it's a big factor in helping people get results, but there's not necessarily a clearly defined career path for people who are solely interested in nutrition. So online is the logical route. Um, so we're going to be showing nutrition-specific coaches how to market, sell, and deliver their services to clients online as well. Superb. 
And then going into the kind of Q2 of next year, we're going to be looking at other products and other launches together in this partnership. You can find all of such information and courses through the FutureFit website or by going to onlinefitnessbusiness.com. Cool. Thank you, Suk. And thank you for watching, guys.